This episode is brought to you by GoDaddy.com. Hey, we need some competition. Go out and create your own video show, spirit review blog. Just get your domain at GoDaddy.com. Use code EDDR3 and your .com domains will be $7.49. Welcome to Common Man Cocktails. I'm your host, Derek Schomer. Today, we're going to create the herbal bomb. Is it herbal bomb or yeah. herbal? Yeah, I think it's there's the no herbal. H. Well, there's no H. Well, there is. But you don't th- pronounce it. I bet you the folks over in, in England would say that there's an H in there. Well, that's good and all, but you're not in England. I'm not in England or England. Um, so there's the no H in England. Uh, well, you take it out, you got to put it someplace. The Herbal Bomb has, oh, this is recipe from Estilla 2, and uh, it's a half ounce of, well, what I did is I organized them in potency. So half ounce of mint liqueur, an ounce of Jägermeister, an ounce of peppermint schnapps. This is 50% alcohol. This is uh, Rumpel Mints. You can use a lower uh, alcohol if you want to, but I've got an ounce of absinthe in here too, so that's through four, basically four ounces, because we have a half ounce of sweet sour mix in here. So... This is 53% alcohol, so it's, it's a little probably going to be kind of potent. But the herbal quality should really change it up. And I decided I'm just going to make the sweet sour mix the way I would make it on the fly, just so people could see what I would do if I were to make my own sweet sour mix. And you may or may not agree with how I do it. I really don't care. No. Um, if you're looking for a recipe, what I'm going to do is, because I have this cool Quantro shaker. I think this is a Quantro. Um, I'm going to use this to build my simple syrup because I can. It's going to be shaken. I'm going to toss it in a low ball glass. You can put it in whatever glass you feel like. So this will be where we put it. We'll measure out. I'm going to do, for this, I only need a half ounce of sweet sour mix. I'm going to use two ounces of simple syrup, a half ounce of lemon, and a half ounce of lime. Sound good? Are you happy with that? Sure. All right. You're the one that makes it. So I'm basically, it's a double. There's two times more simple syrup than there is sour, because the sour is pretty... Sour? Soury. Soury, huh? Soury. Yes. So there's our... Would be one full ounce of sour of two different fruits. You can do two limes, two lemons. I like to blend them, so I like to... Tastes better. So half, half. One. One. So I want two ounces of this. Two. That's what you said. Usually, I just make it more sweet than sour. That's all. You could do whatever. You should I throw some ice in here? Nah. I've never used this, so I don't know what this is gonna do. Float everywhere. Personal shaker. It's kind of yeah, it is a personal shaker, shaker, but it is kind of nice for this. Yeah. If you're making a small quantity, except for apparently it does still leak. Not probably really meant to be sh- shooken. Shooken? Shaken. Can you say shooken? I just did. All right, so that's done. What we're gonna do is use just a half ounce out of this. Where'd I put my measuring thing? So the rest is for if you have friends and you want to make cocktails or you go to everydaydrinkers.tv and you search for simple syrup or a sweet sour mix, whatever, and uh, do one of those recipes. Then you can fully utilize. Or just save it one of these each day until it's gone. Well, I've never opened that before. You could save it. You could throw it in the freezer. Throw it away. Why would you ever do that? Oh, maybe you're just having one of those days and you're mad at the world. If I'm having one of those days, I'm not throwing away precious sweet sour mix. You don't want anything to taint your drink. You want it straight. (laughs) Oh, I see. So you're having a bad day and you're just trying to dissolve a bit. Drink it away. I think think there's a label (laughs) for that. No, no. That's if you have a lot of bad days in a row. (laughs) No, then you're just unlucky. (laughs) No, no. You drink away all of your bad days in a row. Oh. But they don't all have to be bad. You just have to think they're bad. Right. Mm-hmm. This isn't working for me. 
And this would be our only real half ounce ingredient, which means to me that the person who designed this was thinking. That stuff is potent. A half ounce itself is still, you know, that's why. I think why. most people that design drinks don't think. Look, I have just know that there's some drinks out there that are just insanely crazy. I think I just got a, a, re a request to make a, submitted a submission for a recipe, which is like the most disgusting thing you'll ever drink or something. It's just oh, a bunch yay. of... Yeah. It like just it. makes me want to drink that. Or the most awful cocktail. I don't know. Could be reverse psychology, though. No. Like the book that steal this book. No, um, I believe it was kind of like the cocktail that was kind of a mistake, but we drank it anyway. Now you should. Who's a fan? Uh oh. It's and fans... not like a a real. No, no, no. This was a, they they sent they it to me. They concocted it. <laughs> yes. Uh. Sharing our misery. <laughs> yes. People love us to share in their misery or become miserable for things that they won't try because they're afraid. They want to see my reaction. So you should just smile every single time. <laughs> <laughs> That's hard to do. Some people, in, on YouTube, they actually put the time signature to my reaction. <laughs> and go, that shows you what this drink is really about, either good or bad. This is... That's a weird color. This is eerie. Normally they're either bright green, dark green. This is someplace in the middle. It's like swamp. It's almost like you melted a bunch of crayons. I don't really know why. It's minty. Because they were broken and you wanted to make new crayons out of them. Right. This is confusing because I get peppermint and mint at the same time and they're not the same. And a little bit of Jaeger. And black licorice. Of course. <laughs> See, <laughs> I don't even know what to say. This is weird. I don't. I actually don't know what my mouth is doing. It, it's in complete shutdown. It's exploding. It is. This is an herbal bomb. It shuts down. <laughs> this needs to reduce those quantities of those. This should be a shot. Cause, no, because that would be even worse. That would be more dangerous. I don't even know what to say. It's bright, the minty, like that peppermint. Like you just had a peppermint. But the it disappears because I think what's happening is my brain's like, yeah, there's peppermint there. Then some other flavor comes up. So it, it it's rolling through different flavors. Black licorice, peppermint, mint, with this coating of Jägermeister, all of them at the same time, yet not. And it, it's, it, it's intense. Like bright cold from like all the peppermints and the craziness, it is intense. I would not be able to finish this drink. It would not happen. That would be one or two sips, and I'd be like, that's all. Like, that's, all. that's crazy. I'm glad I did it, but I could never continue to do it. It's an experienced drink. It will show you if you're if you could drink this without any problems, your palate has been ripped off and you're just you have no flavors in your or taste. Or you buds. like all those flavors. I like all these flavors. Every one of these. Mint every now and then. I the, first off, I'm using a fifty dollar bottle. Well for us a hundred dollar bottle. Um, if I paid for this one, but I've paid for one in the past for a hundred bucks. Expensive bottle of absinthe in this drink. And you don't need to do that. You could use Le Fay, which is a That'd little be even more weird it would, green. It would be very bright green. I don't know, I really don't I'm gonna try it again. No, I don't my face doesn't know what to do with this. Insanity. You're not supposed to put it on your face. <laughs> True. So if there's sweet sour mix in here, good luck finding it. I don't know what it's doing in here. Maybe it's making it a little sweeter. 
I wouldn't bother with a side-by-side -side comparison because I cannot finish this. I can't wait to see your expression when you try it. Uh, I can't wait to see your expression when you go and make this drink. Do it once, reduce the, the quantity, and take like a sip or two. That's all you're going to need. EverydayDrinkers.tv is where we be. We're teaching you how to drink.